Welcome back. In this video, we're going to actually go ahead and add a product, downloadable product, to the uh, the the WP e-commerce shopping cart that we began setting up in the first video. So this is the site that the uh, product will appear on. This is the uh, product image right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get logged into the admin. So right now we're at the dashboard. Scroll down here and we're going to go to products. So under products, we're going to click add new. Now, if you've got some experience with previous versions of WP e-commerce, you'll notice that the uh the layout and um, you know the method for adding products are uh, is significantly different from previous versions. Um, they've made the uh, user experience much more uh, similar to creating posts and pages um, than you know the uh, the old way of of, of 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 setting up shopping cart products. So I'm going to give my product a name. We're going to call it. Okay, and we're going to give it a price. Okay, now if this product was being sold on another site like for example if you're creating an affiliate uh, store like an Amazon a store or something like that you can still use your shopping cart but you would just put an external link right here okay um, and uh, um, here's the additional description and here's the product description so I'm just gonna put a brief description in here for this video but I'll go back and 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 um, and, and tweak it a little bit uh, after this video Okay, and um, you can give the product some tags. Okay, so now all of those tags are associated with this product this will be a downloadable product so we'll go ahead and click the choose file um, we're going to associate an image with it and we'll select to use a medium single product and for the alternative text I'm gonna put and use this product thumbnail And for the product category, add new product category. 
if there was going to be any shipping associated we could put a width a height etc and all of that would be used for calculating shipping personalization options um, you can allow users to personalize this product by leaving a message or um, user can upload an image so that's great if you're selling like customizable t-shirts and hats or you know something like that um, you can put the S the SKU number in okay and I'm I'm putting this in there because I am using PayPal uh, data transfer to track this transaction inside of my Google Analytics using e-commerce e-commerce tracking and now I'm gonna go ahead and publish this now um, so I will come back over here and let's go to the download now button that I've created and here we are this is the when we click the item item it'll open up large like this and if we add it to shopping cart you'll see the shopping cart over here pop up and now the person can go to the checkout fill out their information and purchase it I've got a little bit of styling that I'm going to do on this checkout page as you can see it's kind of out of whack and um, just to show you real quick um, after you've created your products um, you can put your shopping cart in several different places so we'll go ahead and come over here to the store settings and under presentation you can set where you would like your your um your your shopping cart um, this part right here this the shopping cart part you can um, you can either add that as a widget um, you can add it on the page itself or you can manually put it into your theme somewhere by copying this little uh, function code right here um, I've got it set as a widget so over here in the sidebar I've just got it right here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna change instead of saying shopping cart I'm gonna say your cart and we refresh that it'll update that text okay thank you for watching this brief little video I will show more about WP e-commerce and future videos